Nah, nah, my guy, um, nah, he, Blake he had, had it on. on. Yeah, he had it on in the, in the big picture y'all had. Like, mm-hmm. backstage at like a big show. That's all we do over here, try to support the homies, Appreciate man. Appreciate it, man. You had my shit on first, on, bro. Man. I got an old, old picture with Los with a black blessed hell shit on. Bro, I was there in the beginning. Man. What y'all don't know is me and Ronnie Jordan got a pilot. No, oh, we do. We do. Man. <laughs> Even before it was an 85 South show, me and Ronnie Jordan was putting some media together, man, because we knew the streets needed something. We knew something. the shit was coming. You got to do something on your own. Now that we got this new Channel 85, we might bring this shit back and just drop it for the real people who fuck with us anyway. Come on, mm-hmm. dog. Yeah. Come on, dog. I think we got too high on it. We got real high on that Because, I mean, man, by I'm the time we now. got to the last shit, if I saw you bring yourself. <laughs> You got, you, got, yeah. you got one of my lighters. You good? Yeah. You know that, you're not a little, little weed be ready to fall, and soon you light it, he be like, here come a little fireball. That, that was to remind me that he had my lighter. That wasn't mine, no. Clayton gave it to me then. Mine say get lit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah this ain't it. That's my lighter, that okay. gave Clayton. You need one? I wouldn't yeah, just, just, call me a lighter you thief. Flick, just a flick. <laughs> I got, no, I got it's one more. out loud, too. <laughs> give it to me. Like, what? You want all, you pull all my lighters down. Well, give it to me, the one I drove in. That one. I got one left. I'm gonna find Let me see. it. Look, it's yours. <laughs> no, it ain't mine. No, that's mine. I gave it to you. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I had an extra. Okay. You know, the family that smoke together tell jokes together. My boy, Come I seen you try to sneak together. in with that little piece of my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to turn your fan piece up. I'm walking here real light with all the boxes. But I see you, my boy. And then came in with a personal. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring you boy one of them, one of them, uh, one of them, one of them little, uh, Paul, beef. 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 <laughs> yeah, you made beef, motherfucker. You see, don't really know Javier like that. Huh? <laughs> you, you really, you know Javier? Hamburger? Boy, black with a Mexican name. How yeah. you do that? Hey, DC. What name, Javier? You ain't gonna believe this shit, bro. Boy, black. The nigga hands like baby hands, bro. <laughs> No bullshit. Hey man, dap that nigga up. That nigga got hands Mike like everything. Hand, man. Man. Hey, but DC, that nigga cold as fuck. I don't know how he be getting shit done. Nigga got rank and Hey man, dap that up. nigga, man. I'm telling you, that nigga yeah. got hands like a baby foot. Yeah. Here, y'all can get me a single dollar bill, man. You see that nigga cold as fuck, That nigga there. You got that little ice cream. What got grilled? What my shit is? This ain't, this ain't, ah, oh, I can't, can't eat, eat that, that, my boy. Can't eat that, can't my boy. Eat that, no man. pepperoni pork, my boy. For those they who ain't some... no pepperoni with pork in pork, my boy. Who the fuck don't know that? A lot of folks. There's somebody out there, I thought it was pepper. <laughs> Bro, they don't teach you where pepperoni come from. Man, no, it's pink. Come on, that's pink. Yeah. I ain't that's know. Bologna you know, you know how I know it's pink because they make turkey pepperoni at the. At the I ain't store. know. I ain't know pepperoni. You remember you told me pepperoni with uh, with with pork. I ain't yeah, know that. DC. I spend a lot of time working at Domino's. <laughs> my damn self. Shout out to Domino's, man. Forever my plug. Domino's. They don't have to pay me for nothing. Don't eat it if you don't want it, DC. Don't do it like that. You keep getting disappointed every time you open this box. Bring him another one, goddammit! Another pizza. <laughs> this how you ain't got no plan B. Until we get it right. This how my regular day. No, it's cool. I'm good right now. I get it. You want hamburger on your pizza? That's what you gotta say. Y'all ain't got no cheese pizza. Up. Give DC some cheese, man. Bro, I can't eat that pork, my bro. You gotta say you want hamburger. I, I love it. About to swap if, it out. If, if I eat some pork right now, y'all might want to call the ambulance. Oh, Kevin, you want some pizza, man? If I no, eat pork, my wheels sure. around here. I feel like you're too good to eat around If I eat some no, pork, no, my no, wheels around Everybody got a big friend that don't, don't want want never want to eat around nobody. Y'all niggas, man. Well, give me that pepperoni pizza, man. I'm out of here, man. We might have got this pizza just because we knew you was coming <laughs> and you letting us down by not eating nothing. I swear, if anybody wants to cook anything with some pork in it, I know you're trying to do something to me. I'm going to feel offended. DC don't eat Green. pork no more. I'm like, yeah, man, you know some pork in there. Hey, give me one of them cheese pieces, DC. That shit look like it's hit. It's some what in there? DC, let me get one of them. That look like that shit. Now that you're the OG, hold up, my boy. That's pork cheese. I don't want everything. I like the little slice. When they do little slices, they be thinking about me. You gotta put the pepper flakes on there, man. But I want you to get the bark, my boy. Come on. I wasn't trying to get one of them with the bark. Y'all gonna let that bitch go. Look, I thought he was gonna grab the whole thing. This bitch holding up with two fingers. You ready? You know what it is? Come on, man. I got you. Come on. My boy. Stop. We just pulled the skinny nigga move, my boy. Stop. I thought you were gonna get it. I got it. Okay. Oh, the whole box? Yeah. Nah, I don't want to do it. My, my doctor called up here. Okay. He be like, you doing too much. Mm-hmm. You, you don't want to just take it? You just go get a slice? You just go get a slice? You can hand it back off quick. 
I got my piece of cold. Look, my little See, piece is over. I don't want to bite it. I don't want to bite my little cheap piece. You used to keep the sleepover lit. Cheap Oh, you missed the last conversation. Oh. Black Power Wow. Shit was crazy. I definitely was here. It was lit. This would have came in handy. <laughs> they would have been home after the Black Power Wow was dead. I feel like I got a college credit. You went to college, though. I did. Did you finish? No, I did not. What happened? Give me a nap. Started comedy, man. <laughs> left that motherfucker. Started at Uptown. You left Street. college to do comedy? Huh? What year? Was that my sophomore year? Was you doing comedy in, in where you was at, Athens? I was at West Georgia. Oh, where you was doing comedy at? I was driving all the way to Uptown. All so you were coming to, you was doing it in, in Atlanta? All, in Atlanta, okay. all the way to Carrollton, in the, in the 83 Monte Carlo with the den on the door, mm -hmm. selling mid. Yeah. I got me, I got a pound of mid in the hub cap, just all the way dirty, terrible. Yeah. Why you put in the hub cap? I don't know, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to, I ain't no cartel moves, how to squash yeah, it. You weren't scared that it was gonna fall out on those spare wheels, huh? It, was, it stayed on there pretty good. It, I did it once. I was like, this one's smart. Right. Because it was in the Kroger bag, too. I was like, yeah, yeah, shit, bro. Smell like one pothole, that shit would have been. Oh, well. Whole pound down the street. It was the one happy ass <laughs> crackhead. <in> my... <laughs> Nigga been looking. <laughs> Ooh, my boy. <laughs> just when you think it's over, it just starts. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 I know I owe you. But wait till you see what I got. Wait, well, I, I ain't gonna know. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. His raw hand. 30 pound of music, you can get another ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking them up, man. What year you said it was? 03? No, it wasn't. This was like 01, nigga. 01. Yeah, this was like, I was, I was at the club, club when 9 11 hit. I was at Uptown, like when the day after that. Everybody had 9 11 jokes immediately. No. Immediately. No way. Immediately. About, couple, about a couple weeks after that, but it was that era. They career ain't go far. No, it's a lot of them you ain't heard of no more. <laughs> Some of them still around. Benji Brown still around. He used to sell that bitch out. Had niggas on step, paying hundred dollars to sit on DJ Booth steps. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like yeah. Benji Brown used to go crazy, but they put the whole BMF for being that bitch. Like Beach, all them for real. Nigga might have a whole pit bull in the club. Yeah. All this shit just for Benji Brown. Like niggas. He going stupid now on the tour. Um, well, Benji Mark. Brown shit used to be crazy in Miami. Oh yeah. Well, his that, night he that, hosted that it. Improv man, that shit was Miami Vice nights, nigga. It was like dope boy prom. Exactly. That's the accurate. It might be a Rolls Royce, like Very touching the dope. You'd be like, damn, bro, can you just back up off the door so people go out? Yeah. There? Nah, I just bought it. You can't be in the front row if you ain't got no grill. <laughs> no cap. Stupid rich nigga. With the grills in my hand. Go. Stupid rich niggas. Say what? With the grills in Miami. Yeah. Stupid rich niggas. <laughs> Man, we gonna be high as fuck in here again. Right. We running it back. I'm in here like, I'm eating pizza off camera. Fuck it, bro. I'm talking about you ain't the whole thing too. Look, like, like you had the crumbs on your teeth and everything. Everything. Like, it. I want to do the sweatshirt. No justice without no crumb. He got crumbs on his titty, yeah. <laughs> Please don't do that, because they've they been calling me titties in the building since that one. <laughs> oh, no. Like, I could be with my kids. No. You know, you know that was, that's the one that got famous. That. You know that's what got famous, but you had your own titty song, though. Nigga don't know. Yeah, that fat nigga, nigga yeah. with titties. Yeah, but. You know what's crazy, though, man? It's like, we be sitting in here, and we just be talking shit. But we'll go do a show and we and then people hit us like teachers and shit. Be like, y'all ain't say titties in the building. <laughs> they were waiting on it. And corporate people can't wait to hear that shit. That I had shit my crazy? titties out just for you to say titties. <clears throat> just, it, it was a show. I think when last week, Big had a big ass titties. She was like, uh -oh. I'm like, <laughs> hey, them motherfuckers was hitting. I'm boy. like, what do you want me to say, ma'am? Like that, that is a charge. I feel like the more we talk about titties on the show, the bigger they get at the show. It's like every show they want to see a front bigger row. pair of titties than the last show. But we need somebody with the biggest titties to come front row, too. Just just bring them juicy whoppers. You just. remember them ones when we was at the <laughs> Comedy Zone? Who? That girl that had them titties bigger than you and Chico head. Uh-huh, and I had to go from... I don't think nobody impressed me except for that's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy. Tammy, yeah, yeah, Florida. 
Tammy. What happened with Tammy? Shout out to Tammy. <laughs> Tammy, brick house that you don't know nothing about. I ain't never seen a woman that, that bad. Was funny. That was I was cool. a real woman like in our 40s, nigga. No, she was 50 something. 50 something? I'm talking about a real woman, real style, y'all, giving these bitches hell. Fucking them up. Pressure. You just hope that coochie shave and it smell good. <laughs> oh. You like, I just got one last step, Tammy. I just hope it's, you know, I just hope it's good. Right. <laughs> she good, but you put my leg down. Like it. Gotta take one for the team. How many coochies is broke? Yeah, toe down. We shouldn't highlight them, though, because I feel like it's more of them that smell good than smell bad. It do, it do. But I, I do want ladies to know that we do think about that, too, like how they think about us, like how they hope they, they wish is big. We hope y'all just smell good, yeah. Sometimes. We hoping, too. We be like, ah, hope they big coochie smell good. That's the difference. Man. Some of them actually smell good, though. Yeah. Like, it's, it's like, like, oh, what's that? What's that? You got that new car smell. You like, is that apricot? Yeah. <laughs> and then some of them don't have no smell, and then some of them be like, what was that? Mm -hmm. I see, I'm, I'm like, like with pussy, pussy smells, smell, I'm like, like, I, pussy, like, like pussy connoisseur, like with colognes and shit. Yeah. I can tell where a bit been just off of. So you saying she got that fall pussy? Mm, I can just tell, like, hold up. I'm going to the store. <laughs> Taste that shit like wine. Mm hmm. I'm like, that smell like two o'clock. Switch the pussy around. That two o'clock right now. What you mean? It's seven. <laughs> you went outside at two. You was on the elliptical, weren't you? I feel like it's important. Huh. jogging. It stings to the left. <laughs> but it's important for us to talk about pussy on damn near every episode. No. There's not a lot of platforms black men get to speak on our So can you say shit. we OBGYNs? No. And just let them know how much we love. We just fans it's of just the pussy. Talk with the pussy. It's, just, yeah. it's not just the pussy. Right, just we're not everything. trying to. I even like that little out of uh, fat meat yeah, around the lips. We're not trying to sexualize. Like, we're just trying to The lip got cheekbones. You like, ooh. Vagina gratitude. Got a little cheekbones. Like they probably going to attack us because we Coochie should appreciate the owners of pussy more. <laughs> and we do. Like we don't separate. You can. Sometimes you want to. Sometimes the owner ain't shit, but that pussy. We ain't got no goddamn no 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 sea line back there, dude. No. You heard that shit, but that yep. nigga said, mm-hmm. <laughs> that shit touched his soul. Oh no, that was a that was an animal or what, man? That shit touched his spirit. We got white water back there. What the hell going on, man? You see what I said? When you talk about real shit, it touch people in different right. ways, man. It's like when I said we got a, we want to show pussy appreciation. Well, that young man, man turned that nigga to a He hasn't seat. heard those <laughs> words put together like that. He was like, <laughs> choked on the pepperoni. That's right. See, was it a lamb? That was for real. <laughs> Where my blunt tend to go? We got a blunt. You got me on, I thought you had me on deck. Cause we gonna y'all out. Oh, y'all out. I gonna learn about it, bro. Blood Tinder! You need a bad one? Mm -hmm. You gonna learn about it? That's a pre roll. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't smoke them. Hello. That's his blunt Tinder. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy. Oh, that's your shit? Yeah, that's my dude. Oh, yeah. that's your dude? Yeah. That's your nigga who rolled up your personal weed? Nah, nah, nah. He just be having that pack and he has some pre rolls. He got some pre roll. Yeah. yeah. I don't smoke nobody pre roll. With a wood tipper. Give me the bud. You know what it's, what it's time to say? Welcome back to the 85 South Show. Listen, gang. Only smoke pre-rolls from people that you know and trust. That was a lesson. And we over here at the 85 South Show, we have brought back Dare to Do Drugs. And that was a skit on how important it is to pay attention to your surroundings. <laughs> Don't right. get lost in the sauce when you out partying and parlaying. Know who you was smoking with, if you were smoking with somebody. Since the world done changed, we really recommend everybody smoke individually. Roll your you see that weed. we are practicing socially distanced smoking in here. Nobody has passed anything, and we are all grown, and everybody's responsible for their own weed. If you get too high, that is on you, and this message comes from Carlos Miller and doesn't affect the views or uh, opinions of any of my affiliates and associates. Thank you. <laughs> you see how socially responsible that was? That was very responsible. I was just letting y'all know that I got range. Don't like a motherfucking it. stove, nigga. That's facts. You get it? 
Pass me the bud. Hell yeah, smoke like you been smoking. Right. Shit been so rough, man. You gotta smoke with people that you care about, man. man you gotta let motherfuckers you, know that they are appreciated. Right. Your appreciate holidays and shit is coming up. Don't be going over them people house without no weed. Come yeah, on, man. Don't be the nigga that just be the grab a blunt ass nigga right. to pass it hey, to hey, a nigga. Hey, Sit your ass down. You don't so need no. I hate them niggas. Ah, we, 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 we trying to take two. I take two. I take two. And, and I feel like it's important to say now. I take two. I got it. Make sure you got enough that's going to last you because you, you can't call the weed man on a holiday, Thanksgiving Eve and shit. Go ahead and grab you some. Don't call him for too much that, you, that he know, know that you don't get now. He gonna right. think you hey, trying to do you something. Know you know you got man, man, man holiday, You bro. ain't never got no ounce, and you right. only got three, five. What you Come need on, an ounce for, but my boy? Some people get a half ounce. Smoke. Get a half out. Don't do some too much. Some people doing the holiday trying to he smoke ain't out. Gonna they gonna get it before, like you said. Let him know. get your shit before. You don't get this much. Be like, look, I know I don't get this much. Right. I got people that putting it together. Acknowledge that you getting a little more. I'm putting you on some more people, my boy. Right. Push up with that pack. Just don't be like, bring it out. He gonna be like. I'm gonna call you back. Right. right. <laughs> and if you that cousin that rolled them ugly ass blunts, let somebody else roll this. Somebody and if you still smoke men, stay in the car. Yeah, right. Just so, stay in the car. This ain't your, this ain't your fight right here. I ain't you saying don't, don't you smoke your shit, but smoke your shit in your car. <laughs> don't get out at the barbecue. Don't do none of that. Stop talking about other people that smoking that other shit. Don't if you got some mid, smoke that by yourself. It's an uncle that smoke, smoke it at home that before always, you get there. Shamefully. Please. In the closet, nigga. With go, the lights off. Go and get in the shower. With the lights off. With the lights off. What'd you say? Smoke that a... bitch. <laughs> we shouldn't even smoke it. You shouldn't even smoke it. You smoke it. He's smoking the loud pack on, on Thanksgiving. Be, he be choking like a motherfucker. You want to be choking all the time? <laughs> Y'all got that goddamn. <laughs> Y'all got that DM. Oh, that prime time. I forgot that. <laughs> Crying and shit. <laughs> Daddy, give me, give me this back. Don't leave this with me. Uh, I'm good on that. My <laughs> uncle still smoke me. Who's selling me? Who got the He look at track? you like you don't want to hit the blunt. I be like, uh, he be like. <laughs> This ain't what you like, be nah, doing. Nah, that ain't it. That ain't what I this, want. This ain't what you be doing. I that told ain't. you before, if motherfuckers sell me, he sell everything. He got cocaine and there, some more shit. He yeah. got every. He got pit bulls, every man. What you want? What you need? Ecstasy. Got it. You want Molly? I got it. Got it. You want lean? I got it. You ain't got no mid, do you? I got four different kinds of mid. <laughs> <laughs> He's a mid tender? He got a mid tender? <laughs> you want mid mid? You want some straight mid? Or you want some gangster mid? You want a gangster mid? I got some smoking ass mid. I got smoking ass mid. <laughs> Look like gas. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga been buying like a gas too. <laughs> I sell it for gas sometimes. Air pack. That's good good air pack. It's oh, smoke, but. God damn, that's like, CBD. Oh. That's that CBD. I remember that joke. Have you ever had a comedian give you some bullshit weed before? What? Oh man, me and Clayton can tell you stories. What we, when we first started coming around the comedy circle, how everybody had the bullshit is weed, and they were always the want you, worst. Want you to roll it up for them, and you'd be like, for what? Hey, no, go ahead and roll that, and they do it to you like they just threw you something too. Go ahead and roll that up. <laughs> what, what? The biggest Mom, bag of mid. Nigga, it's a worm in it. All right. It <laughs> <laughs> got a bag in it. Guys. Watch <laughs> this. You know who used to have the biggest bags of mid? Who? Tyler who? Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Tyler Craig would have a bag of mid that was at least an ounce and a half. Going yeah. crazy. Where'd you get all this free weed from? That was OG it too. Made sense. I came front. They had we had this one nigga. He was the best weed man we ever had. He used to pull up with some of the best mid in the city. Get an now don't get me wrong with that mid with him now. That threat pack was all the chain. That popcorn. I, I won't say popcorn it. Popcorn mid was popcorn. a whole no. legend. It was a, it was a whole era. What? The so popcorn mid was an era. Come on now. Forest Park. Okay. Oh, I had some good meat. Can't forget my can't forget my nigga out there in the uh, in the. Uh, we got loud like this. Goddamn, I can't even think of it. Goddamn, that's the only reason I saw. Hickory Lake. I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it. Y'all don't need a nigga all fucked up on Hickory Lake. Nah, it ain't nothing no more. That oh. shit is a blue. He like, yep, yeah, we right here on Hickory Lake. No. Hickory Lake. 
That was the most ghetto shit ever. We only talk about shit that don't exist no more. Yeah. <laughs> no longer there. He gone. Like, nigga, you remember Hula Hands? <laughs> remember the time we went to Benigan? <laughs> they gonna in pull order up. to sample a plow. They gonna pull up the Hickory Lake and be like, you mean Meadow Lawn Lane? Uh, uh, uh. There's no mid over here. <laughs> Me, it was every, I remember, but niggas don't understand that summertime, smoking that mid in the summertime. I you a that. kid. No, I was joking the other day. You, you had me and you had just had ran all the way from, to the city to get some perk. Yeah. You yeah. Remember when you was transitioning well, three, from five. to Perp, though? Did hey. y'all cold turkey? Hey, hey gas is hey. bad. I'm always, a little bit of gas. Well, no matter what happened during my day, I knew I had enough to grab a three five. I might not go get a three five, but I always had some money to the side. But you, you sprinkle that pressure inside that little mid, though. Yep. You'll put that little Call it mild blunt. blunt. Stretch it out. Mild and loud blunt. It's a mild blunt. Niggas like, what kind of blunt is it? A mild blunt. Got loud and mild and loud and mid. We done had some good times smoking weed. Yeah, man. I remember, boy. Ooh. I Dope man used to sell me the shape for fifty dollars. Come on, man. Ounces was. And fit. now I'll be like, I don't know if it was rabbit food or not. No, was ounces high? was, was legit fifty dollars. Do you remember? Uh, I remember. I know it was weed, and but I was like, I seen some rabbit food, and I was like, hmm. I seen that too. <laughs> boy, that's when you scraping but the I bottom of that. your hustle when you got to sell that shape. But. I, it's, it's, the shake is good if you so, make edibles. The shake is good if you make edibles. My wife was, edibles. You gotta keep in mind this before. No, I'm talking about loud shake. I'm you talking about loud shake. We got that shake. But me and shake, me and shake, me shake was shit. That shit was crazy. And we just kept passing that bitch. That shit was like really shit. It was like the inside pencil sharpener. This is the crazy part though. Like you said, me and this nigga had about. We probably had about a pound and a half of shake in a big ass bag. It took us all summer to smoke that shit, and we got it for like. Maybe two hundred dollars. Yeah, dude, it just sold something. Be the bag man. was like it was one of them zips, and it was all the shake that was left from like I think like I don't know what it was. It's probably like two pounds. I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. Did y'all have to do I a stupid quarter pound mission to go get it? Quarter no. pound started being two fifty. Quarter pound of the yeah. other of meat was two fifty. Yeah, that's fifty oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah, oh, 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 mid. Oh. Oh. We were practicing smoking. We were getting ready for this time. We was getting ready for this. Yeah, I think era this, is, of this is a different era, though. Hey man, if you're supposed to have you sitting down, I'm about to too. say this to the camera. If your first QP didn't come in a Dollar General bag wrapped up, <laughs> right? Don't don't talk. A yellow one. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me, bro. That was it was. Press down hard and shit. Yeah, to break it up, man. Them mid, them seeds and sticks. Yeah, no car when I had my first cutie. Shit. Walk with that bit. Why is always the nigga that was like two yeah, grades I'm, I'm behind? I'm holding him away like this. Hold up, DC. <laughs> Why is always the nigga who was like two grades behind you that sold you the best pound? <laughs> I was a younger nigga. I was always a younger. I ain't gonna cap. A young like nigga the best me pounds on. you ever bought was from the nigga two grades behind you. I ain't gonna cap. I had to pay his ass every time too. I got my cat. pound from a manager at work at TGI Fridays. <laughs> a, a GM. <laughs> I was like, why are you doing this? You got benefits. Well, I remember one restaurant, I used to sell weed to the whole restaurant. Nigga, I used to pull to the drive through act like I was getting food. Then yeah, put the bag out, I would act like it's the wrong meal. I put the bag back through the window. It'd be a whole salmon in there. That's a life hack. If you ever need drugs, I'm out like, of time, nah, man, wrong old, care. old salmon that bit. It's old salmon. You ever need some weed? It's, it's really every like, restaurant got some weed. Every somewhere. restaurant got some weed. And every strip club got some weed. It's yeah. weed in the restaurant. Strip club, the, the weed kitchen. goes up times two. It's like stock like market. A, I don't know what the fuck goes on in the club. This shit ain't street price. I got some gas. No, I got gas. Seven. He got a four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> What, what you mean, man? You gonna either look at niggas or smoke, my boy? <laughs> Half out. That'll be fifteen hundred for you. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> this nigga got cocaine prices. What? Nigga, what the the fuck is this? when I went to the DR, Ten. nigga was selling the goddamn. Oh, they be having some trash, goddamn. No, this nigga had some good gas out there, bitch. We'll tell you why I got some good at, but I don't want nobody to know. I guess he had came out there just to sell gas. That nigga was taxing like a motherfucker. Because they got some bullshit every time. Nigga really sell you about, sell you about three grand. For about, no, it was about 60. That's $20 grand? That one, one, you weren't getting your They wouldn't, no. they were short though. Oh, okay. It was just about <laughs> it was like two, it was more like two, two right. It was about a two, 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 two seven. He's like, nigga, you are you gonna sign any more weed? And then it was like, then it was like, like you, it had to break up. Right. It was sticky, so you had to like. Tan. Yeah, so you really couldn't even get You couldn't like, even get the real blood out of it. The skin. The skin. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We too high in this bitch. Cause we too high. Nigga, I could have sworn we done did the intro and every motherfucking thing. And they probably sitting there wondering why we got all this dope ass blessed AF merch all around. Cause my dog, you know him and you love him. He likes Boy, smoking coach. weed and buying joys. My like, nigga, Ronnie Joy, morning culture. Let's go. Bless AF. <laughs> that fat man is at the door. NWT. Yes, sir, man. Thank Come you. on, man. I One of the man. funniest oh, niggas man. in the comedy game, and I don't give a fuck what nobody say. What's up? It's Clayton English. Did you forget that one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code 85SOUTH2021. That's 25% off, up to $10 value, and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code 85SOUTH2021. Don't forget, that's code 85SOUTH2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. My nigga. Man, appreciate Nigga, come on, dog. My nigga. Hey, Eric, man. One of the niggas, on, who, was One of niggas who was already getting it. One of the niggas who was already getting it when man. I was out here trying to get it, man. See, hey, man. This nigga been getting shit, money. Nigga. One of the people you seen on TV that was around your age when it was like, it wasn't a lot of influx of young comedian yeah. on the scene. Everybody was suited and booted. They was older and, and, yeah. and mature and, you know, yeah. they had been at it a while and you were not seeing. Them niggas like, be so serious in the little pre-production meeting. I'm like, bro, where the craft services at, bro? Hey, Ryan to come. Hell yeah. yeah. Good up. Appreciate it, man. I got a lot of shit early, man, but to stay around is a whole different thing. Everybody can be hot, but to, to kick it, man, I just celebrated my 20th year doing comedy, man. Yeah. This year. Out of college and went straight to Uptown, man. I ain't looked back Mass since. And got on Comic View after about eight months, man, and got there, kept pushing. Um, How was your dropout? When you knew the dropout? Okay. I was already on academic probation, so I was like, I'm just really living up here. Mm. Yeah, I dropped out. <laughs> I ain't dropped out. I comedy. Yeah. I just dropped out, and then I was like, I don't know, I guess I got to tell some <laughs> jokes. I don't know. I'm telling you, ain't nothing like a boo, and then you got to drive back to Carrollton, Georgia, nigga, with a with the transmission shaking and shit. You like, nigga, nigga, nigga. Where you where, where shaking at? The third or the fourth? That, that motherfucking third. <laughs> I'm getting up. You can't like, even get past 88. Shit. Your car can tell what kind of mood you in. Nigga. nigga, let you be going through some shit. That bitch gonna be a rough ride, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> you just, you just rip that bitch. That bitch gonna float home. That bitch ain't never right, drove ain't this move. Wow. You bomb fan belt. This is nice. <laughs> Alternator. <laughs> Check engine light. Check <laughs> engine light. His oh, headlights won't go off when you get home. Hell yeah. <laughs> Battery drain. Your car ever did this dumb ass shit? You get out, you try to close the door, that bitch just won't close. Man, yeah, my son do that dumb shit. He'll hit the thing on there and be like, what did I do? I'm sorry, Dad, and it won't close. Y'all ain't never kept the seatbelt on for real? Like, you ain't even know. You just try to get out of the car, you like, ha-ha. Ah. <laughs> shit out yourself. Get your yeah, goddamn throat, nigga. gonna take this on now. The seatbelt only work if you go fast. Shout out to the fat niggas. We don't wear seatbelts. Fat niggas don't wear seatbelts. Most of the time you don't. Unless you got a car that's over. Can't really afford to stop that shit. Y'all didn't even hear that shit. That's what it's made for. Ronnie Jordan said fat niggas don't wear seatbelts. Fat niggas don't wear seatbelts. Sometimes we do. Y'all the most dangerous drivers out there. If your car won't stop beeping, some niggas will be like, just wait, that bitch So you know what I want to say to that? I hope that all the car manufacturers stop making them seatbelts as long as fuck. Fat niggas ain't wearing them anyway. <laughs> now, no, it's a, I wear, I now it's a nigga sometimes. that's my size yeah, with a saggy ass seat belt because they thought that <laughs> niggas was gonna wear them bitches. Shout you out gotta to wear it, right? Are you just you just? No, I wear a seat. You wear like it's a part of his life. He got, you got to wear that motherfucker, right? Wear it, like, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. shit. Uh, well, I usually say something about your seat belt, but see why you ain't got it on. He's a big old boy. Hey, man. He's a big old oh, boy. Oh, ain't nothing like get cuffed and, and you can't fit in the back of the little Yukon. Just wear they got a strap that looks like a seat. Hang it to the back and come back a little bit. No. They're like, we ain't gonna baby get him in here. 
That's when the police have to start negotiating. All right, big boy, if I, un if I uncuff you, you're not going to do nothing to me, all right? <laughs> all right, get in there. Man, I got locked up on Martin Luther King Day one time. Man. What? That's racist. Come white through. police be trying to be passive. Aggressive. I got locked up in Sandersville. Hey, what you got going on, Big Daddy? <laughs> big Daddy. You going? What's the words of fire? What you they got will, going on, Big Daddy? They will oh, say you shit. Ah, they will the say, they always got a little slick nickname to call you and shit. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, let them tell, don't let them ask you a question and you answer it directly. Because my mom was a cop, so I answer exactly like they asked me. You got any weapons on you? Nope. You get in the car. Hey, man, you ain't tell me you had your firearm in the left box, man. I was like, you, you didn't ask me. me. You asked me, uh, did I have a weapon on me, man? Right. No cap? No, no. Don't, don't tell them police too much shit, man. Don't, niggas be volunteering everything too fast. <laughs> I mean, if, I see, I, I smoke in the car. So don't last do that. time I got pulled over, I just got out. <laughs> I, I ain't, I ain't, I, I, I'm so real. I said, he like, he like, yo, I'm like, listen, listen, listen. Don't listen, do that. I'm not running. I'm not doing none of that shit, bro. I'm chilling. I'm going to make this shit easy for you. Bro, I've been smoking. And guns in the car and everything. Just run that shit. Do what you got to do. He check the shit, make sure the shit's right. He go ahead. I had I had them pull the whole like vice squad out on me one time. You know my cops used to be in that van, but that goddamn that the white dope, van, the dope van. I had the van with the seats in it and the TVs and shit. But them niggas, we was coming from uh, Georgia, going headed to upstate New York, Virginia. You know Virginia. As soon as you cross that motherfucking Ooh. line, whoop, whoop. He right had now. the van you was trying to get. Right. Oh, you had the big one. I got the big one. I got the GMC Savannah. He had the big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, who had the wrong one? You well, had the Astro. TV and the Recon. Man, you chill out. Same, you I had, had an apartment. <laughs> Stop playing with me. So I got the same shit. I had a moving apartment. Yo, you had a big one. I had a big one, but the same shit. It was all the same. I had a big, big one. You know what I'm saying? You had a big one. No, early on. I had a, I had like a, it was like a 97 and I put a new transmission in it. I don't know how you did me. I was, I was not eight. You, your shit was fresh. No, mine was on three. You but he had the big van. But I got mine from you a dude who only van. drove oh. it to, I bought it from a dude who only drove it to Georgia, Florida games. That's it. And he was, he was like, man, my kids don't drive, ride them dirt bikes no more. We don't, we don't take it down to Jacksonville. Man, I gotta give me a sprint. <laughs> man, I want a sprint. Sprint, give me a real sprint. Yeah, one real. of them motherfuckers. I had, them, I had the police unscrew all the shit in my van, though. man. You ever had them search your van? <laughs> Shut up. That's what, bro. And Andrew, man, bro. That we gotta get us a tour bus, man. Go ahead, bro. Yeah. We definitely gotta get one with our face on. People gonna think it's gonna be us in there. But I see you down here on Martin Luther King. But I am in Michigan. <laughs> we can put you that on the. Me. We can put that on the tour bus. We Look. not in here. <laughs> we not in here. Y'all got a decoy. You gotta have a decoy too. Tell them gonna be walking up on the. Hey, they in there? Tell them why I pull in '85 South. What? Tell, tell them come out. Like we not in the car. <laughs> How often do they want to roast? People want to roast every time they see. It'd be like 5.30 in the morning, I'd be getting I want to, I'm about to start a, we're going to start a trucking company. That seems like the hot shit That might be the right move. Now. A trucking company lit. They got the shit I fucked up with. at the ports, though. Yeah. Yeah, my homeboy, his truck company taking a hit right now, boy. Right. Pick shit up. Because the ports <laughs> ain't, can't pick shit up. Ain't, ain't nothing going ain't right ain't now. Ain't nothing going. Yeah, shit stopped, nigga. Damn, man. They ain't got enough of a bunch of shit. They ain't got enough yeah. trucks. They ain't got enough goddamn Drivers chassis. What kind of industry can we get in, For the containers. Man. We just got a whole tight. You keep, you keep stacking the money, your whole tight. We in the right industry. We're in the right one. Entertainment going stupid right now. All right. They make a great We might song. need to get into food and beverage. Motherfuckers stay and home. beverage. Some with a necessity. Mmm. <clears throat> Do what? Cannabis. 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 Right. We smoke too much cannabis. CBD. I don't mind getting the cannabis. I, if I can sell weed legally. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a different I'm not sure if I ain't Y'all don't understand, weed. boy. You can. You can. I'm saying, because I don't fuck around with that shit illegally, illegal. boy. Woo! <coughs> you legally like sell that. weed? That'd be hard, man. Legally? It's legally. in the state that it's legal. Man. I'm talking about. Come on, what? We need to move. To fly like eagle. Do no, we need to move? Gotta move. Do, no, you talking about? Move. Move. See, hold on. We ain't gotta move. Who be drug that they didn't sneak? Have to move. Ooh, he got killed now. recently, didn't he? Yeah. No, he he snitched. I said, who was the a drug dealer who didn't snitch? It's a few of them. 
But check this out. Do we have to move? Meach. No, that no. free meach too. No, we don't. No. Who? Tell me no, down no. here? If we're gonna no, get you can sell it in the But it's a it's a it's a process, bro. You gotta city. get past a committee, you gotta get on the waiting list, it's called money and do it all that shit, bro. No, 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 and you gotta no, present no. that shit. There's ways you gotta you might have to reach You wanna be the right way. That's the direct way. But then it'll be the right way. You wanna be the right way because you don't want them folk to come in you already know they waiting for the new shit. You do it the right way, you don't never have to touch it. All you gotta do is license it. No, but I'm saying you mm. still gotta get on the licensing list. Oh, you no, saying we no, should no. be selling All weed, you but not touching the weed. You. Everything and you do, we should do, sell it, bro. I think everything. What they do is right, they, 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 they kick you sell it off. with the price for you. <laughs> 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 the bag. This all I'm gonna see him saying, like, you remember when I was trying to tell you, they get your face and copy it and put it right here. <laughs> Hey! Uh. <laughs> so get in the cannabis industry. Yeah. Yeah. And let them do all the work. And just put your face on. This my <laughs> weed. Did but my, I ain't smoking it. Did my pack, boy. They got it, but they mine. I'm gonna look at that nigga five years later and Tell you what happened. Listen, you remember when they copied them face? <laughs> <laughs> We got to get in some of this shit, man. Yeah, shout out so to Darren. Darren got his own weed, G, uh, Big Baby Boy, G5. He got his own weed, Big Baby Boy. I can't wait, man. Zen Bros. Shout out to Big Baby Boy. Yeah. Shout out to Zen Bros. Shout out to Big Baby Boy. Shout out to Zen Bros. Shout out to Zen Bros. Yeah. Black owned weed company. They got some good ass weed. Yeah, they be getting some strange girls. They got some good weed. Viola going crazy. Viola going straight. Okay, Everybody got their own weed. Everybody just flipped the script and come out with my own weed. We eat bags. They gotta have something to put yeah. in. Right. I was gonna I'm do just coming out with a weed I'm strand, man. Rap, I'm finna like get me a rap. weed strand. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get us a weed strand, and we're gonna put it out there and go crazy, man. Y'all gonna smoke on that 85 South, man. We're gonna yeah. change the name. You know how niggas be talking about smoking on dead pound and all we doing that stupid shit. Smoke on 85 South. Yeah, make it cool. Smoke 85 South, and then maybe you can get creative. Right. Come on, get up man. off your ass. And then you be like, this podcast is full. You smoke 85 South, y'all niggas be create your own podcast. You fuck around and do me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. They hit we, we read what they say about our shit. We waiting on they shit to drop so we can be going they comments and be like, mm. Wow. Why? One dimension. Right. Come on, man. I'm, I'm going to just go watch up. one episode and be like, I like the old shit better. Yeah. <laughs> y'all need to keep it free for yeah. the people. The y'all need to, y'all need to, need to leave. the fans more. He's young. Oh, that's what, shit. Like, Shout out to Morning Culture, man. Y'all is, Sorry, y'all is, I'm not 50. Y'all is direct inspiration for my brothers at Morning Culture, and all y'all done did the show. Appreciate y'all coming by. I ain't yeah. doing yeah. nothing. You, you did it with the old studio. Oh, okay, baby, 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 baby. Say no more then. Yeah, you no got more. a classic okay. episode. We, when we first started doing video, you was on there. It was like 2017, man. So you man, locked so in, in. You locked on there, man. Came through, bro. Appreciate y'all, bro. Let's do a new one with them boys. They got big shit going on over there. Yeah, shout out to Morning Culture, man. Tyler Crawford. Yeah, no hair. No. Remo, Word. Kamal. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. But y'all, but they say that shit about us. Y'all trying to be like 85 South. Yes, they're rich. Yeah. Don't tell <laughs> them. Oh, Where are you doing that? Well, I'm saying they're doing well. I yes. Said, I said I'm hurt. We're fucking directly copying. Ain't nobody yes. told me shit. Okay. Okay. Y'all trying to be like 85. Man, okay. When they, we wake they, up, they, they, they come do this shit. Bro, I don't they, get paid to sit right here, bro. Yeah, I said, y'all niggas don't sleep. I don't get paid to sit right here on this stinking ass couch, bro. Yeah, man. Y'all niggas don't sleep, We do this shit for fun. Right, this we just kicking it. They I'm back hurt. These are people who don't understand. Man, how shout out the episode today. The internet is, man. The internet I'm is. I'm just here. trying to stay alive out here in these streets. Bro, it's enough out here for everybody. Pretty yeah. might hit again. What they gonna say when they see you on here then? You wanna say we legally? Yeah, right. Oh, he know them for real? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he gonna say. Oh, he know them. Yeah, nigga, yeah, I do know. You been on your own trap. Come on, man. You been Come on, man. I've been, I was been in the Steve Harvey studio, nigga. I was in the old trap, nigga. The old, it wasn't even. We were calling it the old trap before the trap trap, before we actually got in the trap. But you know yeah, that shit man. is an art store now? Oh, I thought it was a paintball place. That bitch is an art store. Nigga, I walked in that motherfucker. I was like, these niggas don't even know we used to be in this bitch. Wow. <laughs> like, it's so much glitter in. I'm like, hell no, boy. It's an art store. Nigga, we used to be over here, nigga. Roaches. I'm like, nigga, we created roaches. Right here. I'm over here with paint brushes and shit. That's the manifestation. We was in there creating yeah, yeah. art now. Art they selling art supplies. Wow, that's bars. Right. And that's the mind bars. penetrates the building down to the foundation and it comes from the core. Right. So. And can I say this though? Y'all have definitely kept my career going. Cause this 
Like I said, it's easy to be lit, and but to, to, to sustain is hard to do. And every time I done came on here, I done gained some people that like, nigga, I seen your ass on 85 South. Titties in the building, blah, 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 blah. You, nigga, you know DC? I had to call DC. My nephew don't believe. Hey, nigga, DC, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but we family for but real. But like, y'all niggas really kept me in the game. Like, even like writer gigs, niggas don't even know me. I got, I got a writing job on the Drake and Future video. Life is good, because nigga, 85 said hit you. So I'm like, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Shit like the most streamed goddamn video yeah. or some shit at one point, but you know. Yeah, I sent just, that. I sent that. Yeah, up. Carlos sent the work, man. Appreciate y'all. Yeah. Y'all always send the work. Y'all always look out. I look up. Y'all wearing shit. So this shit is like contagious. That's what we try to do. We try to promote everybody. I, I come on goddamn live and just talk to niggas that got their own business. Entrepreneur check in, nigga. Come on, come promote your business, nigga. Because if you ain't did shit in the pandemic, yeah, you ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You ain't watching watch a nigga. You ain't watching niggas. What type, what type of nigga is you if you don't want to see your niggas win? Man? Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I got all my friends' businesses on my hoodie right now, nigga. All this shit black on, nigga. So. Talk your shit, game Yeah, violence. shout out. <laughs> nigga, I love the game violence shit. Come oh. on, man. <laughs> nigga asked me the other day, he was like, hey, man, I, I just, just want to know, am, 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 am I missing something on the game violence? Like, what, what is it? I'm like, it's just a line of endearment, and plus we get to change the perception. Come plus, on, man. If I, I call saw you what family, you did. Game violence is game violence. So if I call you game violence, that means you got a brother for war. What's happening, game violence? Game violence, what's happening? <laughs> My gang violence, what's happening? Then they get to look at it crazy, like our own little language. Everybody say? got that language. You like, no, no, te, te, te. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what that means, but that means nigga get in the car. That was the most black time. We got shit. to go. <laughs> no, no, te, te, te. <laughs> if you hear that shit, then no, get in the car. We got to go. That shit is appropriator proof. Uh oh. <laughs> They're gonna try to figure out how to do on TikTok. So, this is how you do the gang violence, uh, the gang violence <laughs> challenge. Listen, DC gang violence. Five made it fine, famous. <laughs> it's when black people see each other. Gang don't... violence. What's up, gang violence? Do you dap each other? Do you say word? Word. <laughs> no, the fuck you don't. Do the TikTok video to send it to me, too. How the Spanish people gonna do it? Gang Valencio. Gang, oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely, I got one for them too. Gang Valencio, Gang of Valente. You be like, what's up, Gang of Valencio? Got one for all my boys. Appreciate it, bro, shit. Call my penis, my partner, a Valente. Valente. Valente? Yes, sir. Nigga, new faces, nigga, new faces everywhere. God new faces always be here, man. New faces everywhere. I, I, seen new face at a, oh. I seen New Face at a concert in Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> so what's up, DC? He no, he was he shit. was like front row, and you know how like he got so close, like he could touch people, like he get close just so he could touch people. So when I walk by, he like, hey nigga, I was like, he like New Face. I was like, nigga, New Face. <laughs> <laughs> new face it's Why you face. is how you is crazy? He it's like two new faces. everywhere. I'm like, but you is robbing. I don't understand how you keep up with all the It'd shit that's going shit. on. Man, bro, for some, for you somebody know. who's musically inclined, bro, I, I really like admire that shit, though, to be honest. Like, his, his music catalog, like, in his brain, bro, is like... I told him. And then he got proof. He like, nigga, I'll show you some shit. You, ain't, you don't like music. He's like, he a nigga that like music. He like, you don't like music. Let me show you why I can tell you don't like music. New you don't have this. Man. <laughs> you don't have this. You don't got this. You ain't go here to get this. New Face will open up the motherfucking what? CD and be like, yeah, Gary Johnson. He, he lives in Atlanta. That's my girl's brother's godfather. <laughs> Had lunch with him yesterday. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the nigga got the new most detailed New Face got my old comedy CD from old Uptown. I got a FUBU jersey on the front of that bitch like this, nigga. He was like, I got the first Bruh, one. I feel joint. like he should he open up a museum because he has a little bit of culture with him. Like, he got a lot of he shit in the trap trap music, music, the He got your startup yeah. to where you at. He got your startup. Yeah. He come in here and show you some shit where you be like, damn, I mean. Cause new yeah. face, I ain't seen this new shit New Face knew yet. everybody before anybody was somebody. New right. Face got pictures of me getting my jacket signed by Big Gip at Charles Studio. And I was in that business like, nigga, good him up, nigga. Like, Big Gip was signing my jacket, and he nigga. got your jacket? He got, no. Oh. <laughs> no, he don't got the jacket. Got I, that's picture. all I kept thinking, like, how did he get he your jacket? No, he got a picture like, of this him nigga signing is my a jacket. He got a picture of him signing my jacket, and that shit dope, because somebody stole the goddamn jacket. I think it's, it's a big girl running New around New Face here. got the jacket. <laughs> New Face stole it. It was in my car at one time. He's oh, like, man. I got this jacket hey, hey, my big gift signed. Oh, oh, man. Shit. And I took a picture of you when you had it signed. This is yours. Yeah, but it's mine. It's mine. <laughs>
<laughs> it's and with then, me. And they sleep with, uh, he sleep with Nintendo cartridges around him and shit at night. He stack them up like dominoes. That's my dog. Just lay That's down. My boy, boy. He, got, he got beat. everything. That's how you know when Griselda in town. You be like, oh shit, they go Benny the Butcher. He don't even on. be, what you call it? He don't even be behind the scenes. No, he's there. Be, this nigga he's be there. behind the steering wheel of the tour bus. <laughs> right. Hey, man, you know. And then he gonna pull out something obscure. He go, hey, Raekwon, here go a purple tape, actually. He, this is oh, your purple met tape. Everybody everybody like, in the game, bro. No cap. He and cool. he remind them of when they signed that. You remember, it was August 3rd, 2003. You had on the orange. I, I had on the jersey. Platinum full boot. And you just cut somebody out. You like, fuck them. But I came in, I be like, hey. You're a great artist. And you signed that motherfucker for me. Yeah, Y'all gotta everybody. appreciate new face. Show new yeah, face. Show man. Love, man. The same love, love y'all be showing to my man Nardwar. Yes. Up in the yes. new no face. Cool, new new face is Nardwar. The, He's not right abrasive. He's he he new from Canada. Canada. Yeah. He know everything. He knows yeah. every yeah. fact new about face, you. New face is, is the goat for that he shit. Cool, no. He literally can't open up a museum he and nigga would want to go to it and be like, bro, bro got so much nostalgia shit. I think yeah, the rappers need to start reaching out to him to make they sure they get him, some bro. shit to him, yeah. man, so he can. And know. like the WWE, even they be going back, finding folks who got old nostalgia shit of they shit, they be paying them for it. So they need to do some, need to do some hip hop shit for that hey, shit. Hey, everybody ain't gonna get no unsung. But I guarantee you, everybody on unsung that he fuck with, I bet he got some shit for him. Yeah, yeah, he got, I bet, nigga. I just want them to do some regular, like Atlanta. I want to see some Raheem the Dream or Kilo on a song. Like, we got to get Raheem the Dream on him. We definitely Raheem do. the Dream yeah. used to be. He said he's going to come on here, man. Need to come on, man. That one, that one Everybody I, be saying they're going to come, but they be waiting. They be like, hold on, man. I got to finish. I get them as soon as I get back. I got out they be the scared. Drop. They don't even know what we going to say. Man, I fuck with y'all. I appreciate I don't it. Kill. Shit. I just did my one hour special, too, man. Here we go, go, man. man. Pop your shit. I'm predicted set. But this year they gave, they gave niggas Ooh, an hour, so yeah. it's like, okay. you know, yeah. get busy. Nigga called me like six days out. You got an hour? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, we're well, leaving DC. Bad. Oh, that three times, my bad. My bad, gang Whoa. violence. God damn it. Gracious gang violence. Thank gang you, Valencia. Shit. Gang of Valente. <laughs> Fully it. <laughs> Yeah, man, but I shit, I just shot it. Right I shot it right after uh, Kev on stage <laughs> shit. Bro, where can they get these dope ass hoodies and all uh, this merch? Official yeah. blessedaf.com, man. Go there, get, you, get your shits together. Bro, they've been stealing the hell out of you. They've they been AFing a lot of things. I ain't making it up, but god damn it, baby. I see some oh. shit that said yoga AF. Yeah, the white, it's the white soccer moms that be appropriate in my shit, but they when still. I go look at their page, the shit ugly. You ever see somebody yeah. try to jack your design? You be like, that ain't even fly. What you mean, see them try to? Man, y'all see niggas Nigga, try to copy everybody, shit. Everybody who yeah. got some shit, shit, look like got this time on her. Come on, man. Now. Like, like I, I got a Braves jersey. I just, I don't even wear it out because I'm like, wait a minute. Let me make sure. Right. That, oh, you know good. what I'm saying? Like, I want, but I want 85 South Braves jersey. Y'all the first, I got the first. You got to make your. I think I. <laughs> <laughs> I got the first on, big nigga hoodie y'all made though. I got the first one, I think. Yeah, man, first we, press run. We got some shit coming. <laughs> we ain't told nobody what we did in the lab cooking. Yeah, up, we gotta bro. make yours. We got all kinds of shit on the way. That's how my auntie talked to me right Special before she feed me. She be like, you hungry? But you just talk shit. I'm going to go ahead and spill the beans right there. I got some wave caps coming out for newborn baby. <laughs> It's gonna be it's the gonna soft spot. Protect the soft spot. Yes, oh, baby, that's what they call They can't it. take it off. Oh, they gotta be one that can't take it off. That's the name of it. Soft, soft spots. spots. Come on, man. Soft spots. They're gonna, they gonna sell. I know. Soft spots. They don't, don't you don't tie them up tight. They're elastic, so it fit down. Like a little like a swim cap. Right. Yeah. Maybe they're like you better swim anytime. Even for little girls, it's gonna lay the edges all the way down. Come on, come in the world with edges. Fin Bro. Start how you wanna finish. It ain't gonna feel like 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 church socks is. They no, gonna make no, that no, shit no. smooth and but silky. But it is kind of like a church sock material. Mm. But then if if they like lay their head on the pillow, they might like rub. No. They gonna become. You shake my baby head ugly. No, but like, what do it that? does though, it helps. It might be tender. Can't can't be. That's can't what I'm be saying. Tender. The elastic. That's the, that's what like that church sock <laughs> wears like. In a gill. It's tight, but it's not. Like, right, like a diabetes sock. Like a fucking sock. <laughs> I'm working on a lot you got of shit. Tied? Nah, it slip on. Mm. It's pre tied. It look tied, but it slip on. Mm. And she gonna go. She gonna hit. And she gonna hit it. And it's gonna help those little hospitals. And she gonna be up there by Elon like Musk. Musk. Right. Mm. And she gonna be up there by Elon They're Musk. They're in all the hospitals in the Northeast. Right. <laughs> be like, that ain't how he made his money. He made his money off baby wave caps. I'm finna get some technical shit. He made a fortune off baby wave caps. We need to do some technical shit, like something that can stop like ingrown toenails and shit. 
They got Come the on, to- ingrown toenail fixer, the shit that you twist down. They got one. What the fuck that mean? What the fuck? Like you sit the shit on there and then you twist it and then the shit will push it and then it'll push it. Ooh, that shit don't sound like it's comfortable. I had to get my ingrown toenail mm-hmm. taken out at Grady one time, and the nigga, the doctor used my toenail clipper. I said, nigga. No. Why, why you had to go to Grady, my boy? My shit had got, I was like 10 or 12. My shit had got, a, my foot had swelled up and had an ingrown toenail, and we waited in the emergency room. They shot me in the toe with a needle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I went through that too. And he was like snatching yeah, that motherfucker out. Both of them. My mm-hmm. mama ran over this foot, and I had an ingrown toenail on this shit. foot. Shit. Yeah. Trump. Your mom ran over your foot, bro. Old toenail came out. You ever seen the skin on your big toe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. the car accident. Yeah. Damn, damn the skin. I feel the old the toenail come out. Then you see the toenail come out. You like that? Yeah. This shit just happened. He just lost his toenail. Hey, that's it. Turn that up. Nah, he broke his toe, and the shit came through through the toe. Ah, damn. Nigga, I want my partner's shoe. Nigga, I never forget some hot ratchets. I thought I was clean, but that nigga feet stank, so the shoes stank. <laughs> but I ain't give a fuck. I still wore the harachi, though. I, I remember I was smelling them before I put them on. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Man, I don't think I need to put these on my feet. But I'm like, boy, if you wear these harachi, you gonna get the bitches tomorrow. I'm like, fuck it. Now I put them bitches on my feet, boy, one day. Whole toenail came off. Dang green, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Straight that motherfucker shoot kept the toenail. No, stop playing, man. Bruh. One day, my boy. Bro, we went on a field trip. I knew I was out. And then I went to the school. I went to school. I was getting all the compliments. Ooh, John, you got on the harachis. I'm like, yeah, but dude, these bitches stink. Ooh, <laughs> don't come and on, they man. hurt. They stink so bad. They stink they and they hurt, my nigga. I swear, my whole toenail came off. Damn, my boy. Stink so bad they so hurt. Nigga, I cried on the field trip. You know how you can't hold your pain in no more. I said, fuck it. <laughs> Gotta cry. Did she hurt? Hey, my boy. Did you take it off? Like, did you, you take the shoe off eventually? Man, I wanted to be so fresh, so bad. I cried and walked through the pain. Where y'all went? Y'all went somewhere where you well, we went to Lake Winterful Soccer. You oh, remember yeah. that? <laughs> Lake Winterful Soccer. That's an Atlanta school system. Yeah, field trip right so now. Lake Winterful Soccer. You definitely going there. You going to the King Center. I think it's pronounced like that, like Lake Winterful Soccer. You go to Rock Eagle sometimes. They take you out there and yeah. go camping. No, it like, it like some little bush. It's really some bush and let kids run around, my nigga. Right. Getting one of them little, little, little things where you got to pedal yourself all the way around right. and feed the ducks and shit. Do that by the hour. Hell no. You'll be scraped. What's he talking about on the new special? Shit, uh, the married life, man. You know, the shit we go through. Uh, married? Yeah, I've been married. Me and my wife just celebrated our 17 wedding anniversary. Come on, man. Yeah. You dropping big numbers in here, man. 17, man. 17. You really know Ronnie been, Jordan, you know the nigga nickname Big Heavy, man. So you <laughs> see that nigga in the street, just say, hey, Big Heavy. He know yeah. who you talking about. That's the name of my comedy album. And, and try to be in front of him. He don't like to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> be in front of him? What the fuck? I can turn around. It, it take a minute, a little bit. It's a little scoop I'm to it. Hey, my boy. Congrats, my boy. Yeah, 17, you know, two little boys, man. Shout out to Clark and Campbell. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Campbell just be walking the fuck out of class now, man. Bro, when, then, is it? Bro, when he seven. told me what his son's name was, I was like, boy, you name your son after Camelton seven. Road. Not really, but that's the first hard. time I was like, he was like Camelton. I was like, like the road name. Nah, the Campbell, y'all. Yeah, nah. that's I was like. Campbell. Yeah, that's my wife's maiden name, so she picked that name. Nice. And then Clark was my little boy. He Super just turned man. six. Yes, sir. Uh, you, you walking out of class on my butt? Yeah, my son on the uh, autism spectrum, but he's like a genius level. Like, he fucking, he taught himself how to read when he was like two. This nigga can do math like this, but when he don't fuck with something, he just get the fuck up and bounce, nigga. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then they got a little app, but Campbell eloped again. I be like, bro, he, I told you he ain't want to do math right now, nigga. He just get the fuck up and come on back. At least he ain't wasting them four times. Yeah, right. he go outside and shit. I'm like, did he Where smoke he a cigarette? Go? He just, he just go outside to the bus lane. And shit. He, he just, kick, just get some air, man. Just come. You know they gotta wear masks and shit all day. He go out there and just. He it's normal to me. It's normal human shit. Like you ain't want to sit in class all day and wear masks. I just had to get, hey, man. Right. Yeah. Ain't yeah. that wrong with that? Yeah, he yeah, get, yeah, he yeah, get a little yeah, emotional yeah. though when he don't want to do math for shit. But we. But they always try to label break. that something when, when it's normal. That ain't yeah, man. He's smart as shit, man. He knows every fucking um person that ever worked at that school. Like he didn't. He knows every year, but every volume of the year, but he knows every staff member, every person, like every like the janitors. He know every fucking street in Athens. Like he, his when he when he wanna play, he get my phone and go to Google Maps. Like if I'm if I'm traveling somewhere, he was like, You going to Arkansas? That's where the first Walmart was. It's it's 46, 460 miles from the airport. And I'm like, damn. 
Can't wait to take this nigga to the casino, boy. I can't wait. <laughs> we go. We finna go. We count cards and some more shit. On ape shit. If you see a little boy in the Versace shirt, nigga, at the dice table, I'm <laughs> playing blackjack, nigga. We, I'm finna go lick with my son. Crazy. Immediately, nigga. Sit up. No sit, up. sit up. Sit up. I'm finna draw him a little, little shouty little beard on the shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have him in there uh, like the little rascal. Me to the goat. <laughs> Two tickets, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's the movie, nigga. Sneaking my son to the casino, the new nigga. Come on. Uh, Come on, I'm dog. Sorry. But shit. Shout out to the, all the parents with kids on the spectrum, man. This shit is hard because it's it's a spectrum. Some of them non-verbal, some of them verbal, some of them like he like to line his transformers up and he like a real player. Like he'd be like, leave me the fuck alone. I fuck with you when I'm ready. Right. Like he real player, real cool. Yes, sir, man. But I'm glad that pandemic helped me. I, I, ain't, I ain't been home that long with my kids, never, man. So that pandemic helped me sit down. Like, you can make money another way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, right, it really forced everybody shit, to be creative. shit made me become a producer, director, and See, that's what, that's what DC been saying on here since the shit hit. It's going to bring the real hustler out the real hustlers. You Come know. On. Sure. Because they like... People who got that drive, they, you're not gonna take no for no answer. Yeah, dog. I've I been doing college shows in my kitchen and shit. Them Zoom shows weren't shit, but I was doing them. I, What's up, Memphis? <laughs> <laughs> I had a nigga heckle me and cut the screen off. I was like, motherfucker, I want no. to cut. Nigga said, but your nose know, big, your eye caught the fuck, but cut off. I was like, but your mama got down. <laughs> My eye gets away from me sometimes. Like, <laughs> I start explaining this but shit. But you know what the pandemic gave me, though? A different sense of urgency. You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. kind of like, you know, like, when the lights go out and then the bitches pop back on, you be like, all right, nigga, we can't take these motherfuckers for granted, man. Everybody charge yeah, their phone, no charge some charges, it. nigga, do everything. Thing, you gotta be these grateful. bitches might go back out. You, you gotta be it? thankful, man. I mean, hell yeah. I ain't know it was gonna last that long, though. This shit, shit went a long time, didn't it? It's still going on. Right? I know, nigga, it still I... went on, but I'm talking about like before niggas can really go back to work, before motherfuckers not get on the news, talking about, we need all these central workers and all that shit. But Why? You, just think about all, this, all this shit. Sell much crack, my boy. They got, a whole, they got a whole disease designed to kill three. fat niggas, and I'm still here. Look at God. You see that? <laughs> they made a whole disease to kill fat niggas and old people, and I still made it. Facts. Yes, sir. I caught COVID, though. That shit was the worst shit ever. Got over it. Yes, sir. I caught this shit too. I got over this shit too. Man, that goddamn diarrhea be like, what's happening? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> boy, boy, you ever shit out shit everything? From, you ever shit from your shoulder? Yes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> on my tippy toe, nigga. I was shit out Sprite and everything, nigga. I like, damn. Oh, fuck. man. Fuck, I shit a Sprite, nigga. I didn't even drink any. <laughs> nigga, I shit a Selma of a Sprite, nigga. Just, oh, shit. <laughs> Then you kick, cause I got, I caught, I got the whole house sick, nigga. My wife was sick. My kids didn't get sick. We wore the mask, but we found out later my my son, my little baby got sick. My six year old got sick. But kids got them good ass immune. He had a runny nose, and this nigga don't like to blow his nose. I'm like, Clark, blow your nose. I can't, Dad. I'm like, nigga, I'm holding my ass together trying to get you to blow your fucking nose. <laughs> like oh, that shit tearing me up, and he's still a little kid, and so the kid's strong as a motherfucker, boy. No cap. Damn. I don't like how they don't tell you at the, who who caught it though at the school. They just be like, uh, it was a case at the school today. We gonna be off tomorrow. Well, they can't tell you. They can't like, tell you so you can blame it. Well, then like, then now you though? all on phone Facebook, your child, the reason why. <laughs> just yeah, fuck everybody. Amanda Fisher. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Incomplete ass we bitch. Hurt, bitch. <laughs> Unprotected <laughs> ass bitch. Sick ass. <laughs> tell me where you were walking at, at least. Like, tell me where you was at. <laughs> like, give us the reasons. Like, it just shut the whole school down. Wah, wah. Yep. Come get your child. Yeah. What? Yeah, man. Shout out to all the comedians that got a chance to goddamn kick it with your family, nigga. Love Damn, your family, Damn, man. You nigga. know who I got to say <laughs> rest in yeah. peace to that we just recently lost in the comedy community. Yeah. One of the funniest comedians that I ever had to, you know, the... Shit. I don't even know what to call it, man. Just to be around a legend like downtown Tony Brown. Yeah. Just we just... We just... We just... Yeah, man, I'm talking about Damn, one of the funniest bro. motherfuckers that I have ever been around, man. Motherfucking yeah. masters. I used to see him at Coco's, bro. That motherfucker used to just Dude. destroy shit. Funniest shit Effortless. that has ever happened is we in the van. And we on our way back to the hotel. Van full of comedians. We were taping some shit for Laugh Mob. And the white dude was driving the van. And he just snapped. It's just like. He was driving normal, and then he just snapped, and he was like, 
Uh, he was driving the hell out of this shit. This nigga ran over a laundry basket. <laughs> the laundry basket trapped under the van. Downtown Tony Brown. Everything he do, he just cussing them out. He like he cussing them out the whole time we riding. Everybody in the van dying laughing. This motherfucker crazy. I don't know what the fuck wrong with this white boy. This white boy on the red, motherfucking laundry basket. We look stupid as a motherfucking coming down the street. Motherfucking laundry under goddamn car. Like, that's how he used to talk, man. That motherfucker would have everybody in there crying, man. man. So rest in peace rest to, in the peace to the legend. Peace. Yeah. Go check out him on Bad Boys of Comedy season one, man. That's Please, one of the most man. classic he said sets. We were talking about how he got a quick cousin because he's making his teeth fall out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was arguing with a motherfucker the other day, and I went to say, motherfucker, and that motherfucker flew out. <laughs> and I said, shit, and the other one flew out. I said, goddamn, I got to stop cussing. <laughs> like that. I'm like, them type of jokes, man, like some shit that you would never hear nowhere else. And nigga said, you ever want to break up with your girl and can't move? He said, she could be cheating in the house. You walk in the house, bitch, I owe you one, and just go upstairs. <laughs> don't even say that, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we lost a legend man, that time. Detroit was a mo whole thing, man. They used to, they used to be the- back to Detroit. That's the exchange program Definitely. from Atlanta. If you, all the Uptown comments will go to Detroit and back and forth, so- I'm talking about a lot of places that are kind of gangster for comedy. I, yes, sir, Atlanta, man. Atlanta, Detroit, St. Louis. Chicago. Chicago. Shout out to Trick Trick. He used to be in the comedy club all the time, bro. All the time. Right. Salute to the OG. Yes, sir. I got a lot of cousins in Detroit, man. man. Detroit. I love Detroit. You, you gotta go to Six Mile. You, you gotta go to Six Mile right? on Miss Connors. That 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 burp that that breath played Miss Connors on Six Mile. Whoo! Lord yeah. have mercy. Is in the hood on the corner, but get with this shit off. doing comedy shit. though. It's like when it comes to the volume the of comedians that was funny as hell off the rip. It was always to me. Between Atlanta and Chicago. Chicago has some heat. Nigga, man. it be motherfuckers who start doing comedy last week in Chicago and be funny enough to be on TV, nigga. That's how yeah. fucking funny them niggas are. Well, in Chicago? Man, them niggas just a different breed of funny up there. Shout out to Ill Will. That nigga there used to roast me. <laughs> <laughs> to me on a tour bus for like 12 hours, man. bro. And I was like, I'm not, cause he got, he had MS. And, and he, he was like, shit he talk all shit. All he said, Ron Joe, you a Carl Winslow built motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, leave it alone, bro. I was like, sir, walk, well, tell him I ain't trying to go to hell, nigga. Like, I'm in there, 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 I'm <laughs> That's it. Sir Walt told the bitch her pussy lips look like saloon doors. <laughs> that nigga Ill Will told me, because he had braces and he was like, right, I bet you got cheese flavored toothpaste, nigga. I was like, man, leave me alone. Well, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these niggas. I call that, that Christopher Reeves. That Christopher Reeves by that. In the comedy nigga. game, that are just one visual away from from breaking out. No cap. Like my nigga Jeff B. Jeff B. is a beast. Jeff B. Funny as hell, yeah. and he say the yeah. most random shit. That it is the most random fucked up shit that nobody would ever say besides him. Jeff B. said to all the women that got abortions, just know. That baby gonna be in heaven talking about, that shit good right there. <laughs> <laughs> Open the joke, nigga. First shit. That shit needs to be like, what That's the right fuck? Here. No, funniest shit that nigga said. Just random. That nigga said, you ever be wrestling with your stepdaughter and your dick get hard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the only one. <laughs> Major B, Major B. Oh, for, uh, These are like, classic one liners, man. And this nigga sing too. And this nigga sing too. And the, the long number, nigga. Oh, he sing his ass off. He sing his ass off. Oh, the only one. Nigga. It's a lot of them niggas, man, that just. <laughs> Me and him went on tour with Earth, Wind & Fire and the Isaac Brothers, Ricky Smiley, Adele Gibbons. Uh, Red Man funny and fought to me like too. Like 20 though. motherfucking cities, huh? Red Man funny and fought. Red Man. Red Man. What? Rapper. No, nigga. 
the fucking comedian. It's a comedian real. You talking about Rob Man? I'm tripping. I'm high for Rob Man. Got you, Rob Man from Atlanta. Shout out to Rob Man. What I'm saying, Red Man. This shit, what else? I got you, Rob Man. I'm like, that ain't it. Rob Man. I got you, Rob Man. Rob Man. He from Atlanta. I said, Red Man. I said, Red Man. The rap? Did he won? He won last comic standing, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Rob Man. Rob Man, I'm the motherfucking chain, boy. Yeah. That nigga funny as hell. He been funny, man. Rob Man, I'm the motherfucking meat rap. Got his own shit. That nigga go crazy. They got old style. That shit. That he old style, so funny hard. here. But you know, I always say, motherfucking T. Ray Sanders always oh one my of god. my favorite comedians. <laughs> T. Ray. Oh my god. Who in the world? <laughs> That's it right there. When I hear that nigga come on stage today and he get to doing that long ass intro, I know I'm finna have a good time. Uh, I, like, I like when that nigga roast. I like when that nigga roast. <laughs> He said, nigga got, a, <laughs> said, nigga got a mouth full of wisdom teeth. Nigga got a smart mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I got a smart mouth. Fuck? This is my favorite one that he said. What? Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise you ever had gonorrhea. You ever had gonorrhea? Make some noise. <laughs> Nobody had it. Who the fuck I get it from? <laughs> 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 the nigga told Big Sean, he said, Big Sean, your mama be in the back of the church with a Ric Flair wig on and a Falcons helmet talking about, woo! <laughs> I was like, why? But why? <laughs> he just say some of the most obscure shit. Old tiny head ass nigga. Nigga, you take a nap on a tea bag. He's a tiny head nigga. He's a tiny head ass. He be making him like want to fight. Like, nigga, he'll, he'll, he'll get you a grind until you want to fight. You be like, this nigga finna fight him. You take a nap on the tea bag. Little head ass nigga. Uh -huh. just, just creative ass shit, man. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Funny. <laughs> I'm sick of fucking flying. The road to Hollywood is fucked up. Got on the Greyhound. There's musty people everywhere. Musty bitches, musty niggas, musty babies. How your baby musty? <laughs> <laughs> baby? <laughs> Gotta shout out my nigga Trey Black, bro. Now, this one of the yeah, funniest yeah, dude, niggas, man. man. Trey, we Black. Together, Trey Black. Shout out to Trey Black, Black man. We used to work together. He funny as shit. That and nigga we funny did the as show. a motherfucker, man. Yeah. That you nigga said, have some good how the shit. fuck I'm gonna take a shower over your house and the soap dirty? Yeah. <laughs> Who gonna yeah. wash the soap? Right. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you know your house nasty when roaches be cleaning up. Nigga, must we do everything? We do everything. <laughs> must we? <laughs> Hey, that's what he'll catch him on the night and the comedians will be on the ground. Oh my God. In the back. But I'm just saying, oh like, God, it man. just be rent, like, some niggas just come God, over and have a I'm good fine. ass night. Yeah, like, you remember that, crazy. that uh, my nigga Julian? You remember Julian? Yeah. You know, you should say some wild shit, too. The nigga say, you ever took a shit? That thing so bad, you got to throw the your toothbrush away. <laughs> yeah. Pooh Carter used to do this. Yeah, that shit, that shit must have stayed in the back. Pooh Carter. Pooh Carter was a beast. My favorite Pooh Carter joke. That nigga when they said, was roasting? No, when that nigga said, his daddy looked at him and said, Ooh, <laughs> you, you either an ugly person or a pretty monster. <laughs> <laughs> man, man, we spent so many hours in the yeah, comedy, comedy club. club man, bro. for real. I used to love when motherfuckers man. used to just come through and destroy that bitch. Mike Epps used to kill. I would, see him, will. Do, I would yeah. see him do no shit cap. he don't Mike do Mike Epps would come and kill, the, sh kill yeah. the motherfucking club, run off stage, get straight in the car, and leave, leave. that bitch. Yep. No cap. For real. Yeah, that nigga used to come to and destroy uptown, boy. Just walk yeah. on a walk through. Yeah. And he said, you ever see a nigga in court look like he about to run? He said, he be looking up. <laughs> 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 he said, he get in the car, he said, he said, and grandma was talking about, come on, baby. He said, grandma, they were gonna give me eight years. <laughs> he said, that nigga ran out the courtroom, nigga. <laughs> I ain't never seen you that on a bitch. Oh, thing, shit. That yeah, we went Chris Tucker used to pull up sometime. He still Ooh. will. Chris Tucker, he'll pull up. All these people pull up. <laughs> You never know trap. who it is. Some nigga just be in his own that night. Flip that bitch. No cap. She yeah. appreciates y'all having me in the trap, man. You gave me some stupendous marijuana. It was great. It still is. Broke it. Broke it. That's just the first part of the hack. What I noticed about this weed is it got that comeback. 
Mm -hmm. so you think you had that ain't even it. It's it another come one back that's going to loop back around. Mm -hmm. Drink some water and then come on back. Hell yeah. Well, shit, man. Let us know what you need us to do as far as helping you get the word out on this special. Well, shit, the spe I don't even know when the special drop, but my comedy album coming out, goddammit, November 26th. What's, that? What's the Black album called? Friday. The album called Heavy AF, man. Heavy as fuck, man. My Where goddamn. is it? Where yeah. is it? I'm gonna drop it on heavyaf.com, heavyaf.com. You can buy that bitch for me direct, then we're gonna put it on all the streaming platforms and do it like that. I had this bitch, I did it in like 2019. I had it in the tub, my nigga Fur was like, nigga, you gonna drop this? What you doing? So, but you need to, you got, I got that a lot type of shit, shit that, that don't I, get old. I appreciate it, man, mm -hmm. but y'all need to keep me know. goddamn pushing, man. So I, I like to watch y'all crank up and congratulations on channel 85, goddamn it. Congratulations, yeah, yeah, black yeah. on shit. You know what it's about? This shit more than culture, man. And Shout I just everybody, hope everybody who been Deep watching just remote. know that we got a whole Tyler gang Kamal. of shit that's coming yeah. out. Me and Clayton English been in the lab. We've been writing all kind of shows. Clayton, man, mm -hmm. tell them what the fuck we've been thinking about dropping on that bitch. Oh, man, we about you to have everything, peak, bro. Man. Everything. Tell them about the show we was talking about, man. Do you talking about with the, uh, with the Black History? Yep. Oh, man. That one gonna go stupid. Don't it's drop that crazy. one. Because we really gonna you do talking that about, You talking about the movie shit? Yeah, and how it's really supposed to go? The, one, the seven made, minute man. movies we was gonna do. Oh man, the short film show. Short short film. Mm -hmm. Remember we was like, hard. we was about to everybody have. do short film. Don't nobody do a short short film. Nobody do it. And then we was about to have the what you call it, the game show. But just to let these motherfuckers know, we <clears throat> it's a black squid game. We was really just leading Chitling up game. to that shit. Chitling we gonna just games. do games. It's the chilling <clears throat> game. I saw Squid Games and I was like, they would've shot the fuck out of me, dog. You gotta eat a bunch of chilies and then you gotta do the game. It, it's still you think, you think You think you would've made it? No, I would've fuck. died that first, the first one when she turned around. <laughs> no, no, no. Red light, see my titties and everything, still moving, nigga. Bye-bye. <laughs> Body can't gave me stop two like that. Goddamn, I can't quit, make all this That shit stop. was too extreme, man. I couldn't really fuck with it. What? Squid Games. That shit was crazy. Shit. It was too much killing for me. That shit traumatized yeah, me. Yeah, I was, I was, I was cool I on the first half yeah, of that yeah, shit. Yeah. I was like, this is what they going the crazy The crazy part is some motherfuckers saw that shit like, where you sign up at? That's no crazy. How I get on it? I, I ain't even finish it. No I can't even do it. <laughs> I ain't finish it either. Oh my, on my, on my, on my movie. No. I like all that crazy shit. That shit was crazy. Not yet. What movie? The Colin, Colin Kaepernick, Kaepernick story, like about him in high school. No, I ain't yeah, nah, that's where is it? Oh, it's on the cocaine cowboy <laughs> shit, though. I gotta see that. I saw that. That shit hard. No motherfucker done sold all Kaepernick. the cocaine Flocko. in the world. You didn't see the, uh, the uh, Godfather Harlem, did you? Yes, sir. That Finished shit good it. as Finished a motherfucker, boy. Finished it. That's the network. My special's shit. gonna be on Epics. That's the network. Oh, yeah. lit. Epics. Clayton got one on there already. That motherfucker yeah. funny as Bruh. hell, boy. Clayton English, yeah. one of the coldest that niggas out here, man. That motherfucker funny as no cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. No cap. Hell November yeah. 24th. That's why I've been Disney writing Plus. all this shit with him. You know, I know it. November yeah. 24th? Yeah. Me, and, me and Clayton been working on the cooking show too, man. Y'all cook. Called something to I definitely eat. definitely fuck with you, man. I'll come get me something to best eat. Best places to eat. Yeah. And best places to treat. It's right. hard. That's fat. What y'all really cooking on that We're really just gonna have like, black people who can people cook really shit cook real good, good yeah. come through and just yeah. make something to eat. We ain't finna Like, you don't have to be a chef. You don't have to be trained or nothing. Like. You just come on there and show your ass on that one shit you know how to make real motherfucking good. Is there right. going to be a vetting process? And I can, can I gather the huskies? Well, this is the thing. To vet this you shit. You got to have three people vouch that what you trying to come on there and make is it, actually it, good. Yeah, it's, it's what you say it is. Right. You can't be half-stepping with no right. shit, man. So you need a cap <clears throat> officer, really? Like a cap, a cap consultant? You need three references. And you gotta cook it right there. You can't pre-make this shit. Nah, we got to Everybody sweating macaroni and cheese fire. And, and it, it's coming That's up on facts. five macaroni and cheese I season. I had some bullshit some, macaroni and cheese. It's some soup and macaroni and cheese. Anybody trying to drink soup? So what we gonna do? I'm gonna come to the this, macaroni this, this, and cheese like that. Bread crumbs and As opposed to getting no, the, the best, crumb. we just gonna have, it's either gonna be good or bad. Ain't and no in between. What's the criteria for the good mac and cheese? Can somebody make it? Thanksgiving finna come up. Can somebody make a good? You know about the sound with them. That's what I'm saying. You, a good what? We gonna have Pino somebody Bull. come Did on there. Do that? That's who the, the cold, who make the best hard. goddamn. It's it gonna be somebody's mama. She been making them for 27 that years straight. Cause all her kids had them every day. On there, spread. But somebody spread. gonna change the game. It's gonna nigga gonna toast that shit. He's like spread. Then they gonna make a peanut butter sandwich with two pieces of French toast. And you see why this shit gotta come out? Look how interested you are. You invested already. Yeah, that nigga, you gotta go crazy on them. You put too much on it. 
The jelly coming through the bread, my boy. You can't eat this, my boy. <laughs> you, you rip the bread. If the, the jelly coming butter. through the bread, my boy, you can't eat. Bo, you eat it. <laughs> you rip the peanut butter. You know my favorite peanut butter. Throw that shit away, my boy. boy. <laughs> that flat one. That yeah, flat one. Yeah, peanut butter yeah, jelly I'm that flat one. You got the flat where you can see your thumbprints. You got to spread it right. It got to be evenly. It can't be. And then sometimes one. some people jelly be too wet. You like, hold on, I saw auntie. one on a Food Network. It was made with two pieces of French toast. I was like, that's a lot of sugar. Like, my nose started bleeding watching TV. I was like, nigga, this is. Damn. Two pieces of French toast, peanut butter, and jelly inside. And it gonna count, my boy. That sound like the, that sound like the move, it my was boy. Hot. <laughs> it was yeah, hot. like two freshly yeah. made pieces of French toast. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's, yeah. yeah. that's what, that's what yeah. I'm talking about. That's that's like, sound, like, yeah. Between glass, 85 glass percent of the night. What? <laughs> we can knock that shit out, no problem. No cap. No, no problem, man. What? Hey, man, a good toast on anything, man. A grilled cheese sandwich with some Swiss cheese and like a tomato is like you, you, that's now it. you on another that's level. That's it. It's just grilled cheese and a tomato. But you got to get the right bread, though. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Is it bread, cheese, and tomato? It depends on what kind of bread you Ooh, want. You know what I'm saying? Don't get deep. 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 Don't Burrata, what's that called? Yeah. Put them up on some cheeses, man. You got to get you some Gouda. You got to get some These are cheeses? for the Munster. Yeah. These are cheeses? Like the cheeses, little... Swiss, cheeses. Pro. Oh, I thought you said like the Cheez-Its. I was like, Monster, right? You got to get the real mozzarella that's in a ball. They got like, what? I'm like, they got a ball you cheese? You hear me? You, you got to get, you told me to put you on the cheeses, but some of the niggas ain't on dairy, but if you going to do dairy. Cheeses, get... y'all, not Cheez-Its. No. Okay, man. You gotta get the mozzarella that's in like a ball and you cut it and it's soft. Oh, one of them cheese. Yeah, that, that Man, real mozzarella. I don't that you like put... that cheese where you gotta cut it like the, like the Spaniard cheese. No, no, no. It's mozzarella for pizza. Like, but make a pizza at home with the real circle mozzarella on okay, the soft shit. cheese. Get you some gorgonzola. Yeah, man. get you a, get you a pizza dough crust from the grocery store. It's already man. dough. Lay that shit out. Put you some. Tomato Come sauce. On, get you some Havarti. The real mozzarella, man. You're going to be like, this shit, shit get good some, get, you some, get you some Kobe Jack. I you forgot you've been studying. Get you some, studying. Get you some, get you some smoke. All these are cheeses? These are cheeses. Gouda. Gouda. Smoke Gouda. Smoke Gouda is a beast. Go, what is Gouda? Ooh, it's a cheese. It's a it's cheese? cheese? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's E-40 about that Gouda. So, it's so a you tell me if I go up to McDonald's right now and be like, boy, y'all ain't got no Gouda? No, no, no. They ain't got no Gouda. They ain't got no Gouda. It's way above their price point. It's cheese okay. shit. Yeah. It's like Wisconsin You got to go to the deli and say, I want the boar's head. Thinly sliced. How you want to slice? I'm not saying that. Yeah, no, that's the boy. <laughs> See, I thought y'all was some real players, and I have yet to hear anybody even mention Tillamook cheese. Oh, the Tillamook? Tillamook, what is Cheddar. that? Cheddar. What you mean, what is the, that? That's that brand? That's the brand of it? Tillamook. But y'all are something else. Come on, y'all man. know a lot about cheese. Y'all niggas ain't on my level, bro. Oh, man, blue niggas cheese. ain't fucking with Tillamook? Come on. I ain't even get paid blue cheese. What? Come on. Oh, that's some thought, of the best shit in I the market. I thought right cheese, there, what the man. only cheese? Tillamook. Hey, I tell y'all what, y'all get back with me when y'all when y'all get with some Tillamook cheese, man. When y'all get up on that, get what? back with me. Right. It's good. <laughs> it's good wheat. Like after you smoke the good one. What well, American cheese? Make blue cheese? Nah, bruh. Look at me. Make you a grilled cheese with that. Tillamook, bruh. What that is? Come on, man. Tell them up. Come on, man. Tell them up, cheese. Tell them up, cheese. It's just cheddar with, cheese. It's get a brand. with me, man. It's a cheddar. It's get with me, man. What about jalapeno? Nah. I probably know what it is. I probably know. Nah, get with me, man. I probably know. <laughs> that jalapeno, that ain't no damn oh, cheese. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like jalapeno. Nope. I don't want to be stunning on y'all niggas all the time, but this you nigga know. This nigga went cheese. Pepper Jack. Cheese. That's what I'm saying. Pepper Jack. Right, nigga. Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack, boy. I'm bougie when it comes to my cheeses, man. Pepper Jack. Pepper Jack. Look, Pepper Jack. I know Pepper Jack. I know about Pepper Jack. Always in moderation. Cheeses see what you got coming up, man. Man, shit, man. I'm finna go learn about these cheeses. <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm finna do. Don't go you... hard if you don't do dairy for Nah, real. I don't fucking around. Oh, yeah. uh, man, you know, me, man, shit. More touring, man, more TV show, more movie. Oh, uh, for the love of money dropping. I knew it! Thanks, baby. Yeah. Before it even dropped, yeah. congratulations. Let's, Let's go. Let's Big shit. Let's go. Jason Mitchell. Uh, Let's go. Um, Lisa Ray, Cat William, Carrie Hilson. Who else in the key sweat? Everybody in that, man. You know, you know what I'm saying? Go Big check it out. Big shit popping. Clayton, what 24th. you got, man? Man, I told you, man, November 24th, Hawkeye Disney Plus. Hey. Come on, man. Bunch of success sitting around this motherfucker, yeah. man. So that's driving. 
That's yeah. what's up, oh, man. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, you can talk about it now. Uh, I think so. Or either they gonna meet me outside. Oh, what you talking about? So yeah. Yeah. Uh, what we paid you, <laughs> we've deducted from your account. No. <laughs> like, shit. That shit, they, they don't tell you nothing, bro. You get it, you get it. You get it when you get that. Disney Plus. Notify. You want Disney, Disney Plus? Plus Disney. That's what's up. That came Plus, to I ESPN. just said I would, I would All that money I'd have spent at Disney World, my parents took me down there and had me eating little slushies and shit, right, right. I'm just finna unsubscribe. I'm they gonna keep me. it. Keep it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep, keep it. it. I'm gonna keep it to your yeah, I went to, My first time going to Disney World, my granddaddy <laughs> sent a he sell dope. <laughs> he was like, what y'all want to do? Go Disney World. He gave my auntie a bankroll. Got some Jordan 5s. Went down to Orlando. Fucked them up in the fifth grade. Yeah, <laughs> I remember going to Disney World was like the ultimate trip. Yeah, it was the, mo the most shit you could do as a kid. You never went to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nigga therapy saying you that same went? shit right now. Yeah, I ain't no going as a grown up. Oh. Oh, okay. But you know, it was like one of those promises that was just like, Mom, we're not going. It was one of the ones to get you to act right? Yeah. yeah we right. going to Disney World. You get good grades, I take you to Disney World. I knew it. <laughs> you said to go to Disney World. Man, we ain't going to no Disney World. <laughs> I used to be a sip with them coke can, boy. Six you get that sip yeah. Oh, y'all got to it. Yes, okay. Yeah, one more what? time, bro. Let them know where they can get the merch. Yeah, officialblessedaf.com, man. Um, merch for hire on the uh, More Than Culture merch, yeah, man. man. And um, yes. Yeah, I got a comedy album coming out, man. Y'all go stream the shit. Go goddamn download it. Freako Rico did my artwork, man. Thank you. Shout out to Freako Rico. Shout out to Freako Rico, Rico, man. man. That's my guy. You're crazy. Shout out to my boy Ty Lewis, man. He city. made me some custom Air Force Ones for my goddamn special. Oh, look. Uh, let me back. The shoe boy, might stink. The shoe might stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He put my kids' names hard. on here, man. My wife's business on here. Snack on, Junkie, man. Shout out to Snack Junkie. Come Shout out to Craig. Craig. Hey. You got the Biggie Craig. Vegan cookies. Yes. 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 And she got the edibles, if you know what I mean. Vegan. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's all vegan. Might have the vegan edibles, you know what I'm saying? But they be they be hitting, man. She use strong goddamn. Woo. She make her own uh, cannabis butter. So Go crazy. Forgettables. Yeah, that's how I can tell when she make a good batch. She's like, I had an order, she be laying on the couch. That, that bat was strong as hell. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta chill, look at that taste test and shit. <laughs> Tell you when, what you got coming up, man? Come on, man. Hey, 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 hey. I no told way. you, he don't say much. He be doing shit. Congratulations on that, man. If I was close man. enough, I'd dap you up and I'd get you in a minute. But Shout man, to keep doing your thing, man. I knew it was coming for you. But that ain't your first big shit, man. You been out here sneaking and moving and shit. We know what's going sneaking on, Sneaking and geeking. Keep doing bitch. your motherfucking thing, man. Ronnie Jordan. Man, it's man. a pleasure, man. Thank y'all for always you having me. You know where we at? My boy. Always coming come to do my on, show. DC, you got to pull come back on, up. Bro. Yeah, I got to come back and forth. At the culture you. crib, man. We going to goddamn uh, kick it, man. So appreciate y'all, man. Goddamn it. Thank y'all. It's a bunch. 85% of us started more than culture fans. So it was 85% of us that came over there like, we fuck with y'all too. So, Changing you know the motherfucking so, landscape. Okay. Shout out to you all the 85% of us. You can fuck with more than one nigga. 85 South Show. Right to join. DC on black. Follow us. Shout out to Play Biggie. Shout out We out this bitch. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You see, Big Nick got up on the first try. Yeah, hey, first swing. Oh, am I doing a drop or anything? What, what am I doing? Uh.